Reports have emerged that General Motors is planning a family, as in a range of low cost electric cars. Now, this is very cool to see, very encouraging. I don't think what is gonna spur a huge increase in electric car sales in the US and globally is gonna be 1000 kilowatt charging, which is what some people are claiming. I think it's gonna be more affordable EVs. So General Motors, this is great news. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching the Electric Viking. GM has been quietly coming up with a plan for a family of low-cost EVs after the new Bolt. Now, guys, I said in my previous report that the Bolt was coming out not until early 2027, but I got that wrong. It's a 2027 model, but it's actually coming out in January of 2026, so not long until the Bolt comes to market. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. The long-awaited Bolt is going to have some pretty good upgrades versus the previous version. Price will be really good as well. It's going to be under 30,000 US dollars. And I think it's going to sell extremely well. But General Motors unfortunately said it's going to be a limited edition model, as in the car itself is going to be a limited edition. But while recently speaking about the company's future plans, Mark Roos, which is the he's the president of General Motors, said there is a new affordable EV family coming. Unfortunately, he wouldn't release any real details. What comes after this when referencing the Bolt, he said, whether it's called a Bolt or not, will be a family of things that is low priced. And when I say family, they won't be adopted. They'll be in the same vein of size and price. So what does this mean? Well, could be based on the Bolt. I think the Bolt might get, a, there might be a new platform, the Ultium platform. Uh, yeah, but what, I think he is also referring to is the new batteries that General Motors have been working on. They've been working on a couple of different batteries. One of them is their manganese rich lithium ion phosphate batteries, I believe. And those batteries, oh sorry, not, not lithium ion phosphate, but manganese rich lithium batteries. And they're saying they'll cost a similar price to lithium ion phosphate batteries, but have about 20% more range, 20 to 30% more range to lithium ion phosphate, but the same price to manufacture the packs. That will enable General Motors to make more affordable EVs in many segments. He said, I also think there's some white space in size, class of forms, not only the Bolt that we just introduced, but also some different things for different people's styled tastes. Like what a word salad that was to read, just to read, I was like, la, 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 la. But anyway, uh, Mark, thank you for saying that General Motors is going to work on some more affordable cars because if GM says it, maybe other companies will do the same thing. The new Chevy Bolt gets a 65 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate battery pack. Of course, that battery pack is not made in the US, or at least the cells are not made in the US. They're made, I believe, in China by CATL. But anyway, it's a good battery pack and that's certainly not a negative in my opinion. It's got a range of 255 miles EPA, that's 410 kilometers. So it's a real world range of 410 kilometers or 255 miles for less than 30,000 Australian, but less than 30,000 US dollars. That's a good price for what I think is a pretty good car. It's updated as well on the inside. It looks a lot nicer. Plus the DC charging is much better at 150 kilowatt. That's a big increase from the 50 kilowatt charging of the old model. Future affordable EVs could get the same battery or they could get that new battery from GM, which will have a lot more range. Now, Mark said that their new EVs will use different cell technology from old models. So I think basically Mark is saying, yeah, our newer EVs, they've also already confirmed this, will get these new lithium manganese rich batteries with higher energy density, which are yeah, cheaper than today's General Motors batteries to manufacture by, a, I believe they said they're 30% cheaper to manufacture, which is a big difference. GM is expected to launch those batteries in either 2027 or 2028. And yeah, they're gonna have a higher energy density than LFP, be the same price. So that's gonna be great for consumers in the United States.
I mean, I actually think that General Motors has put quite a lot of work into these new battery cells and they will make a big difference to the market. I mean, if you can get an affordable EV like the Bolt and the range has increased from 255 miles by 30% to say over 300 miles and the car is still 30,000 US dollars or less maybe, that's going to be huge. That's going to drive more EV adoption. And, you know, they can have other versions of the Bolt the Chevy Equinox, I mean, that'll get these batteries as well. That might be enable them to bring the prices down a little bit for their base models. And the more EVs that people buy in the US, the cheaper they'll be to make manufacture. I mean, it's just mass manufacturing, the principles of mass, mass making anything. The more of any one thing you make, the cheaper it is to make that thing. Guys, what do you think about this? Is General Motors on the right track here? Do you think this is a good plan? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. The new Chevy Bolt, it's actually the EUV that's been modified. So General Motors have come along, they've taken the EUV, they've changed some things, changed the battery, made some nice upgrades to it, and they've priced it extremely well, 30,000 US dollars, including destination charges. But there'll be a $29,000 version coming after that. Now, this means it's probably the best value electric car you'll be able to buy in the United States. But is it actually better than buying a secondhand Tesla? Well, maybe. Here are the details behind the new Chevy Bolt and why I think it's actually a pretty good car. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. The Chevy Bolt. It's, there's only one model now, by the way. It's just an EUV. One big problem with this car, there's one massive problem that I think is a huge mistake, but everything else is really good. And I'll tell you what that big mistake is at the end of the video, just because I don't want to wreck the video for you. I know a lot of people are excited about this car, but I think you need to know this one problem with the car. In fact, I think there's probably two problems actually, but first of all, it has some pretty big improvements over the existing or the, the old Chevy Bolt much better charging. In fact, charging speed is triple, triple the old version. It has a better battery pack. It's got a little bit more range. It's got a lot more power. So all in all, it's a much better car than its predecessor. So with a maximum charging speed of just 50 kilowatts, the old Chevy Bolt took more than one hour to fully charge when plugged into a DC fast charger. 